I'm Sheldon Danziger, Henry Meyer Distinguished University Professor of Public Policy and co-director of the National Poverty Center at the Gerald R. Ford School of Public Policy. The Russell Sage Foundation has just published a book that I co-edited along with Rebecca Blank and Robert Shaney. The book, Working in Poor, focuses on how low-skilled workers in the United States have had a very difficult time in the labor market since the early 1970s and how public policies have and have not helped offset the hardships generated by the labor market. Less skilled workers, particularly those with a high school degree or less, have lower wages in the early part of the 21st century than they did three decades ago. There are many causes of this that have been widely researched and are discussed in the book, including the effects of globalization, technological change, uh, the declining value of the minimum wage, uh, the declines in unionism, and increasing competition from immigrant workers. Some government policies have helped to offset the lower inflation-adjusted wages of less skilled workers. Uh, for example, the earned income tax credit has been dramatically increased over the last three decades uh, and now provides substantial benefits to working poor and near poor families. On the other hand, fewer less skilled workers who lose their jobs are eligible for unemployment insurance because of changes in uh, the way they become eligible for benefits. The book focuses then on the economic causes and a variety of other public policy areas, including health insurance, tax policies, how state policies operate, and child support reform policies, among others.